Okay, welcome back to Sub's Choice. First of all, I need to thank all of you guys out there, subscribers. We are like, I think today we hit like 350 subscribers and we haven't even started yet. This is crazy. So um, a big thanks to all of you guys. It's amazing. I love when you comment, asking questions and stuff. If it's first time you're here, subscribe. Because then there will be more videos, okay? Okay, enough of this. What are we going to do today? Today we're going to do this picture. Cosmetic stuff. Welcome to today's news. No. Um, so I found some random uh, cosmetic uh, stuff and we will use it today somehow. Today I was thinking we could use some matte background. It's a bit harder to not be this shiny and nice. Uh, how do we start? Well, often you should start with setting up the, the set. How do you like to place them? So let's do that. And today I'm in Capture One Pro. I've set it up like this today in Capture One Pro. To the left, there will the photos uh, end up. And to the right, we have, you see my hand. Now we have no guide lights on the flashes on, so it's hard to see. But this on the on the right side we have the live view because live view is really fantastic when it comes to this kind of photography. It's a must, I would say. And to set up our setup, we need to have some guide light to see what we're doing. So I will put up the first flash, and as usual, it's uh, you know angle same as the the camera something like this and i turn it on and we turn on the guide light there we have the live view and now we see exactly how to set up this maybe we like to have some coffee in the picture probably not yeah. you know normally when you do this for a client you know you spend hours and hours and hours to setting up this and then when you set it up, then you, for days, you're setting up the lights, you know, so it's 100%. This is, it's hard to squeeze into 15 minute video, so it's very quick and dirty, but you will get the idea, you will get some inspiration, and then you will spend 100 hours by yourself setting up till you find something nice, yeah. Let's, let's put it like this. It's a bit hard to see now, because it looks so awful. And the reason is, this is a bit nice, you see this? A bit highlight there. Oh, it's just my my head. Hello. Hello. Um, we need to diffuse this light. There is no other option because we have all of them are shiny. I need absolutely to diffuse it. If I just do like this, you see, immediately it start to look very very nice. Yeah, with without. I don't want to sit and hold this. So let's put up this big one something like that and what do we get do we get something nice i will take test shot and see where we are this is this will be kind of nice i can tell it looks like we have the led lights is going into the picture so if we shut off all the flashes and take a shot without the flashes yes you see because the reason is i'm shooting at 5.6 we really need to have a black frame i want to be at around 5.6 because you will see later i want to stay i don't want to have everything extremely sharp so if i switch off the modeling light what kind of picture will we get then yes almost now it's only the led lights coming from behind when we take the final image then we can switch off everything so if i switch off and take a shot we should have pitch black yes but for now we need to see a bit so i put on the flashes again take a test shot it looks kind of nice but now when we have this uh, live view we should really use it to choose the best spot for the flash i will show you if i turn back on the modeling light and then i take this flash off the c stand and you see to the right in the live view there this is me walking around now i'm off and uh, you can just see where you know what i'm looking for it's just matter of taste where do i think it looks nicest and you can always take a test shot oh this is kind of nice i'm really looking for gradients let's put it back here i think it 
will be kind of nice somewhere around here. I will take another one. What I'm looking for is gradients. Like it's a light going to be too dark. It could be more dark here. But it's a bit of a gradient. Here, light going to dark. And this is absolutely fantastic. Dark to bright. To find the best spot, we really need to testing out. And look, oh, this can also be nice. Test shot, see what we think of it. Yeah, I really like the face one there. The silver one in the middle. But there should be a spot maybe around there. Mm, this is kind of nice. Take another one. This silver box. The silver box. When I now have this screen to, to look at, then I can always make some adjustments. What happens if I open up this? Will it make a nicer gradient? Test shot, and then we look to the to the left. Yeah, maybe a bit better, but I would like to have it like the... Maybe that is nice with this... Uh... Ah, you, you see? But maybe, actually, <laughs> this is the LED lights. So if I switch off the LED lights, now it's probably gone. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So you can be a bit um, fooled there. Let's put back the LED lights. You see, now it's, now it's back there. Maybe... We will use that one, or maybe not. We'll see, because this will be screwed up by the LED lights. This little, I should turn it back off. It should always be work. You see, much nicer now. This gradient from very dark to bright, and um, when you have the LED lights on, then it will be screwed up because the ambient light affecting the shot because we have only 5.6. But it's not a problem. We just shut them down later when we take the final shot, okay? Let's say we're happy with this one. One thing I notice is that the black face Stockholm box is a bit dark and uh, I think we need another flash helping it to come out a bit. So let's take another Profoto D2. You can also use R2. Let's take a look at the Live view. I want to hit this, the black. Where do we need to place this? Oh, there. You see the highlight on the face, to, on the face, black face box? There it is, very precise. I have on this um, uh, grid, otherwise it will spread too much probably. I think it needs to be around here somewhere. Just have to find the exact spot to get on that face black. There it's starting to show up. Okay, now I will lock this. And if we take a look at the, the live view here, we have a highlight over here. And this one is also black. Maybe it's not a bad idea to get a nice highlight there. And also this one. Let's take a shot and see what they will do. You see, total destroy the whole picture. And the reason is that we cannot have it need to have modify it to make it more spotted so let's put on this okay let's try that one see what it does still a bit hard but probably because they are shiny because you see right now the flash is just a small spot small spot small spot so let's put on a diffusion to diffuse the flash, the light. I'll just take a test shot to see if they're still there a bit. Yeah, maybe we need to put up the power a bit. You see, now we get this nice, it's a bit of gra gradient, bright, a bit darker. This one is not that nice, I would say. Uh, what more did we get? Ah, oh, this looks more, even more three-dimensional now. I will put up out of the LED lights so we can take without the ambient light and see what we will get. Ah, oh, this looks absolutely to fantastic now three-dimensional and this helps a lot and I think don't think we should have more power because this one cannot take more light than this and this will have to deal with this I wonder if it should be placed a bit higher up tiny bit hope I don't destroy the, the light no it's kind of nice but I wonder why this one is such a I don't like it really so let's turn off the model light on this, the first flash. Now we'll see exactly what this flash is doing. Actually, I really need to shut off the, the LED light so I can see. Because you see now, this is all... I will turn off and you will see. Ah, 
Now it's only the flash. Yeah. So if we take a look, what can we have? Is it maximum on this model light? Yes, it is. Um, that one was nice. I'll take a test shot to see if we can get the perfect spot for that. Ah, okay. Now I understand. The reflection on this one, it's from this one, of course, because the light coming from this way, the second flash is hitting this side and then it reflects on that side. So it's actually impossible to make it a gradient from going along the whole way. So what can we do? Can we do? The only thing we can do really is to, to move it, I think. Um, or we can put a black... Let's try that one. Let's, uh, let's put a black uh, gaffa on the side. And then the flash will not reflect. Let's put on some light so you, so you see me. Um, yes. Let's see if it works. Let's take a shot. Almost. We ha still have some, uh, if you look at that picture to the left, we have a bit there. But this will we retouch out. What more can we do? Reflector. And what about the coffee? I keep it in the in the modeling light so it it's uh, it it will keep it warm yeah let's look at the live view can we reflect something back will this create a highlight i wonder let's place it there and i will need to look at the screen how it will look i put it there what i'm after i'm wondering if i can get a tiny bit of highlight on this but it looks like it will not create any highlight there oh. i would take one without it to see if it it does anything at all otherwise we can just take it away it actually makes this mega volume looks even more clear and we get a tiny bit of uh, highlight and this will be clearer actually so let's leave it there the reason why i don't want to uh, increase the the aperture is because i was thinking maybe we want to have a bit of motion of water and then we need to keep the flashes keep them as low as possible we we will change the aperture to like f 11 13 16 or something then we need to increase the flashes power and that will make the water not be frozen. But maybe we should not do this splash again. But I want to try it. I want to test it out. Because water on this matte skin, this cow skin, you know, it's, a, it's one of those uh, black and white. We call them cop cows in Sweden. They manage to take out the white from them, these cows, and they get this leather. Let's test some water, see how it looks. Maybe it will look fantastico maybe not i think i should take away this and let's pour some water how will this look it looks like uh, oil or something yeah but it looks a bit nice i would say at the same time i see that we maybe we need a bit more power i really would like to have some water on the products i think it would look fantastic on this uh, Mm. Maybe the black one too. Like to have a bit. Maybe a bit more over here. Let's take a look. Mm. The focus. Where to set the focus? I don't know. If you put it on the first black one. Yes. This is sharp now and this also almost. But then these two poor guys will be blurry. That is not good. Actually, I think let's skip this water action. We ne really need to have them all in focus. So I will put up the aperture to 13 maybe. Then we need to increase the power. We can start with this one. Is it? Will this be enough? Whoa, way too much. Somewhere around there. And this guy also needs to be up maybe around there. What do we get? Are we back? Almost the same. Now there is more sharpness in the picture. Yeah, yeah, it's almost sharp. And this is very sharp, sharp. This becomes a bit blurry and we cannot get all of them. I think this drops is uh, very nice. Um, let's try to... I think we should take away... Don't 
let's not have any water on this pink one. But we can have... I'll shut off the LED lines to see what we really have. Kind of nice. Ah, oh, this reflection is still very clear, but I think... Hard to do anything about that one, I feel. Only thing we can do is really to, to move it, I guess. What will happen if I put it this way instead? Yeah, maybe it's nicer. I'm not so sure about these dots here. I think it became a bit too much. So you see now, the setup. We can go in close to take a look. And then we have this flash coming from that way through this diffusion. And that will make this highlight on this side. And it also, I think it might hit this one a bit on the front. Also on this black part, because then we are like helping these black parts to be more visual, yeah? And the other one flash is just through this diffusion. The other flash, you know, is just through this diffusion. So I think this will be it for today. I will do, I, I will freak out a bit. I mean, I will uh, splash just to, you know, maybe there will be something fun and then we can use that photo instead. So I will, I will make a few splashes. Okay, that's it for today. Um, some uh, splash it, we'll see. Maybe I will not use it, maybe I will. But uh, you will see. I think I will show the picture at the end, yeah? But you saw it in the, in the first, you saw it in the thumbnail. I haven't even seen the picture yet, you know? I have to retouch it for 60 hours and you know how it is. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this and please subscribe and like. Uh, and we'll see you next time, okay? Bye.